head of the South African Agency for Science and Technology Advancement. It's wonderful to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Okay, thank you very much. It's quite scary when I'm reading how badly we are doing. I mean, uh, you know, our country is rated last when it comes to the quality of education in these subjects. That's, that's not good for our, for, for, our, for our students and youth. Yeah, that you know is the case, you know, because if you, if you look back, you know, at teams, you know, report in 1999 and 1993, uh, South Africa was at the bottom of the list, you know, in terms of uh, our uh, scores of the learners in maths and science. Therefore, it's scary. And even when you look at uh, the metric, you know, results, you know, over the past, you know, few years, uh, when you compare a result in 2011 and 2010, you'll find that you know the learners who pass mathematics, you know, is uh, less than uh, 50%. Uh, in physical science, uh, in 2010, it was about, you know, um, 47%, you know, passing physical science in, in, in metric, but uh, it, you know, increased, you know, to about, you know, 53% uh, in uh, 2011. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's so sad that, you know, great, it's 53% and it's moving a little bit higher. It's not, it's not good enough. And that's the reality. I mean, if we want to see um, our students and our science and maths improving, it needs to be better. So, so what plans are in place? Yeah, there are a number of, you know, things, you know, that are happening. You know, first, I just want to indicate that uh, the government, you know, is aware of this. That's the reason why they uh, initiated a number of programs, you know. Uh, first, uh, the uh, Department of Education came up with a program, you know, called uh, the National Strategy for Mathematics, Science and Technology Education, which started in 2002. And then also the Nidinali initiative, uh, the focus is on math and science. But even the Department of Science and Technology do have a collaboration agreement with the Department of uh, 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 Basic Education to ensure that uh, we look at ways in which we can increase you know, uh, performance and participation of learners in, uh, in math and science across the country. Mm. And then National Science Week is one of those activities that you know, uh, uh, we have you know, embarked on to ensure that uh, our learners are being... You know, encourage you know to look at uh, uh, math and science at critical you know subjects and also you know to um, uh, do them in schools and not only do them but also you know to pass them well yeah because you know uh, we need uh, um, skills in areas such as you know science engineering technology and innovation and uh, People who will be able you know, to do this will have you know to have good passes in maths and science. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know that we're constantly talking about projects that uh, that the, the departments are involved in to try and make science and maths more exciting for students, and you know, just generally trying to get the interest in the country higher. What's happening? What, what, what's going on around these issues? As I indicated, you know, there are a number of programs, you know, this week, uh, as, I can, uh, as I indicated, uh, it's National Science Week, yes. uh, which was launched uh, on Saturday at the University of Lipompo by the Honorable uh, Minister of uh, um, Department of Science and Technology, Derek Hanekom. And uh, as from today, uh, there will be a number of activities across, you know, the country, and uh, there will be over about, you know, over 200, you know, events in all, almost all the municipalities across the country. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, that, that's at least getting out to areas where I suppose one would never uh, get to, because that's, that's what's needed, is that, yes, within these, uh, in, in the kind of urban areas, I suppose there is a lot more uh, involvement and a lot more interest when it comes to science and maths. But out in rural areas, I imagine that's the difficulty as well. Yeah, that's, you know, the reality. In rural areas, well... There are a number of activities happening, but uh, in uh, deep rural areas, you know, in most cases, there's nothing happening. But uh, through National Science Week and some of the program, you know, organized by the Department of Science and Technology, SASTA, which is a business unit of the NRF, there are a number of activities that are going, you know, to rural areas, you know, like running science camps, running a number of competitions, and also uh, uh, creating space where scientists can in engage with the public about, you know, interesting you know, issues about you know, science and how science impacts you know, their daily lives. Yeah, well, good luck with it. It's Science Week here in South Africa, and hopefully we can, we can move up uh, from being the last on a list of 62 countries, uh, uh, which, is, which is quite scary. The World Forum survey saying that we rate last out of 62 countries when it comes to maths and science, and that's not good enough. So hopefully we can bring a lot more awareness to these two subjects. Thank you so much for joining us here on the program. Uh, Dr. Jabu Nukeri, the head of the South African Agency, Agency for Science and Technology Advancement here. Thank you. Thank you very much.